This video explains how you should prepare before attempting the AFM exam. We'll consider what to do before you reach the exam room, as well as running through the exam instruction screens. Here you can see the introduction to an AFM specimen exam, which is followed by a further four screens of instructions. The first key message is this. Be familiar with these instructions before entering the exam room. Read them through several times so that there are no surprises on the day. You can find the instructions in the ACCA practice tests contained within the practice platform. The second key message is to plan your strategy for the exam in advance, a strategy that plays to your strengths and enables you to be clear about your approach before you go into the exam. We'll return to your exam strategy soon. For now, let's look at the key information on each instruction screen. First, notice that the live exam will be timed, though the ACCA practice tests aren't. And you'll have three hours and 15 minutes in total to answer the questions. Selecting next will take you to the first screen of the instructions. Here is that screen. This information is important. In the live exam, you'll have 10 minutes to review the instructions. These are in addition to the time you'll have for the questions. Here it says that the stated exam time will start automatically once the 10 minute period has passed. So it's vital you're familiar with the instructions before the day of the exam. The rest of the key information on this screen is covered elsewhere, so let's select next again. This screen focuses on the exam environment, such as navigation, getting help and the calculator. Let's move on to the next screen. The third screen of instructions gives further information, including accessing the scratch pad. Again, let's move on. The final screen of instructions is about reviewing your answers and finishing the exam. We'll move on one last time. And we've now come to the exam summary screen. It's here we'll talk about exam strategy. Section A contains one question worth 50 marks, and Section B contains two questions, each worth 25 marks. We recommend you spend 90 minutes each on Sections A and B. That means 90 minutes on Question 1, and 45 minutes on each of Questions 2 and 3. This is 1.8 minutes per mark. Keep that in mind when answering questions, and don't spend too long on each point. This leaves you with 15 minutes to skim the requirements briefly at the start and have some time available as a buffer at the end. We suggest that the best way to get your timing right is to practice questions or mock exams to time, so that when you come to the real exam, it comes naturally to you. You'll move on from this screen to begin the exam. So if you select next now, you'll be prompted to confirm that you want to start. From the moment you select yes, the clock starts to count down from 3 hours and 15 minutes. Compose yourself. If you're happy to start before the 10 minutes are up, then just go for it. Take a deep breath and begin.